What's up everybody, it's Clormo with another tutorial for you. I'm gonna be revisiting the concept of finding key signature of a sample or a song, which is very important, obviously, in combination with the tempo of a sample to make sure that everything that you build around it is cohesive, it's not out of tune. And I'm gonna be testing that here again. So to that effect, this tutorial is gonna be split in three parts. Today, I'm just gonna show you a different tool that I wanna use uh, to find the key signature of a song or sample, as well as the tempo in combination with Key Finder, which is the tool I used in the video that I did before talking about key signatures. And if you haven't watched that, just go into my um, channel and search for it there. You're gonna see it. And that tool is Serato DJ, which is a free program. Every other tool or resource that I use here in this video is gonna be linked in the description. So fear not, everything's free as well. There's nothing that you need to buy for this. And without further ado, let's go into the tutorial. Like I here um, in this link, uh, like I was saying, um, this is gonna be split in three parts. So today I'm gonna to be talking about Serato DJ, key finder to find the key, how to relate that, how to prepare your Logi Pro X file to then bring that sample with those correct parameters. Then on the second part, I'm gonna integrate that into a little bit of the Apple Loop browser and functionality that it has against the key signature of the whole project. And then in the end, the third part is gonna be just finding key signature using logic only, just any tools that we have there, which we haven't seen before. So here, uh, you if you go to uh, this uh, link here, this, this address, you will be able to download Serato DJ. So what I'm gonna do here, the first thing they're gonna ask you for an email address, and I'm gonna put a fake email address gonna put a fake password just to get through this we make sure that you put a valid email address the captcha and then here's the important part what I did was I uh, selected that I don't have any DJ hardware option and what that did they sent me a a link on my email where I downloaded the files so very simple install on Mac and once you install and open the program you end up with these and this is Serato mm -hmm. DJ okay so Serato what that's gonna do it's gonna give you two key pieces of info which is the BPM which is the tempo right and the key signature as you can see here you can just drag a song which is what I'm gonna do right now I'm just gonna go and drag this on here. It did the analysis for me and it finds that the tempo is 135 bits per minute and that's a key 11A, which is a little bit weird because this is not something that's uh, perhaps easy to understand or something that we have seen before. And why is that? This is because this is related to a tool that's called the Camelot Wheel, which is a specific tool that was created by DJs, and you can search on Google for more info on it, to make it easier for DJs to mix two different sources, two different songs, for example, that are close in pitch together, close to a key signature, but that will still sound well together. And this is the notation that was, that's used in the Camelot Wheel. And to that effect, I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna bring now the Camelot wheel that I have over here. So this is your Camelot wheel. And when we go to that 11A, we see that that's, um, that's F sharp minor. All right, so that's something that some of us that know a little bit about kissing just might recognize, F sharp, that's actually a note it's a notation. So that's how you do that in Serato. Now, 
I was praising Keyfinder before in my other video, right? So how about I use those together, which is what I'm doing nowadays. How about I show you what Keyfinder does and that way we can uh, verify that what we're finding on both it's good we can cross check and then be more confident about the quality of the information that we're getting so i'm dragging and dropping the file again it already has a key tag of f sharp minor and i think that's based on me processing the file through serato but if i run the batch analysis for that song gonna take a minute and let's see it's finding the key or it's detecting it as G flat minor which is different from F sharp minor so which one's right this is something that I did on purpose because I wanted to show you something that I haven't seen in in any of the key signature videos out there in YouTube and it's the concept of N harmonics and N harmonics it's nothing more than two key signatures that are close in pitch and they're essentially the same. They sound similar and they are they can be used either way. The difference between one or the other is that uh, one, it's easier to write into, write songs to, and it's typically the one that the musicians are gonna learn. And that keys that piece of information is gonna be important from when I go to Logic Pro X and show you uh, uh, a particular uh, point in the key signature global parameter of your file that relates to what I just said. But how do I know that that's really true? Now that I know that word and harmonics, how do I know or how do I cross check that those two are actually related then luckily enough we have google right and i'm bringing up just this picture here where i have n harmonics i'm just gonna make this bigger n harmonics traditional double sharps and flats and from this graphic here if i search around i can see down here that i have f sharp and G flat. So they are in harmonic. One is an enharmonic of the other. It doesn't matter the scale if it's minor or major. All you need to know is that one is the enharmonic of another. So that means that this information it's essentially the same and it's correct and that Serato it's also correct based on the Camelot wheel which is F sharp. So now I'm just going to go into Logic Pro X and in Logic Pro X, I simply have a file with an, you know, a stock file. And I already changed the tempo to 135 bits per minute. And in the key, you by default all, always have C major. But now I want to change the project to the key signature that I found. And in this case, it would be F sharp minor. But what if I find a key signature or Serato and key finder give me a key signature that's not in logic? Well, what that means is that I will have to go by the enharmonic to select the enharmonic here in Logic Pro X and be sure that I have set up my file to the correct key signature. That's going to happen. And that's why the only reason I went through all this trouble of teaching you this is because you are going to find instances where that's going to happen. That's because Logic has set up the options for key signatures based on the common notation that's used in western music which is the simpler way of writing uh, notes or songs around key signatures are simple to write for okay so having said that though i do not run into this problem here because i have f sharp minor and i will set it there and I'm going to be closing the tutorial right here. So because I have all the file now set up with the right parameters, right tempo, the right key signature, I can 
double check the tempo right by ear as I have shown you before in my beat making tutorial series for making sample beats and you can cross check that information there as well so as usual if you haven't subscribed yet please do so on YouTube if you're watching this on beat me or any other source out there in social media please make sure that you like follow whatever you need to do to help me gain more visibility out there I want to thank all of those that have been uh, supporting what I do if you want to support more of what I do make sure to go to all the links in the description and you can communicate with me there and follow all the other work that I do in the next video remember uh, I'm going to be integrating Apple Loops and doing some other fun stuff with the sample and taking off from where I stopped here, preparing this the file for bringing up a sample material. I'll see you next week. Peace out, people.